They get right down to it, don't they? They don't say, where's the budget coming from? Or it's, <laughs> we've got a resource issue here. Or we need 200 GSM paper and a special kind of acrylic paint before we can start. And by the way, it's quarter to five, so we're going to put this off till tomorrow morning. Children don't do that. They get down to it straight away. And they design this beautiful playground in bright colours. And they had a professional designer come in and negotiate with them about the finished design. And the professional designer said, actually, it's lovely. All I would do is perhaps move some things around, just for spatial safety reasons. He said, for example, if you're coming down this amazing chute that you've drawn, you don't want someone on a swing bumping into them. The children says, actually, we do. <laughs> but, but he stayed, stayed true to the children's design. And then they brought engineering students in from the local college. This is collaboration. And they asked them if they could add value to this playground. And the result is, every time a child uses the playground using kinetic energy, they're generating electricity 